Welcome to Cheap Joe's Test Studio. I want to show you today how I'm going to put a sky in a painting that I've done that I didn't put the sky in. And we'll see if it will work using an atomizer. Hopefully it will, but if it doesn't, no big deal. Come go with me. I've cut up this paper bag. It was actually a Cheap Joe's bag. If you come to our studio or to our outlet store, we'll give you one of these bags. We hope it's full of product. And I'm going to use this bag to lay over the painting in the foreground where I don't want the spatter. And I'll even put a little piece right up there maybe, and it's okay if it gets down in it. And I'm going to use the coastal fog in the beginning, put the little tip of the atomizer in it, and come back. I'm just going to start spraying. It's just like an airbrush. Look at this. Isn't that fun? Now I got a little more over here in these tree areas that I want, so I'll just blot it out with a, a tissue and it'll come right out and it's gonna just work great. Now, before that dries, I'm gonna come right into this ultramarine blue and I'm gonna pull my mask up there a little bit higher because I don't want it down in here. And I'm gonna start spraying it. And I have some coming down that way. Let's see, have we don't stop. Don't want to just stop down here. I'll be... Wow, isn't that going to be fun? It is. And I'm going to pick up one more color and it's going to be Rambling Rose and put into that blue a little bit here and there. Again, with the same atomizer. It should turn it kind of purplish. And let's see what we've got. Let's take the mask off now and see how that's, well, I don't know. Maybe it didn't help it any, maybe it did, who knows. But you can keep on, I can come back again and spray some more into it. I can take a brush right now, like this big one and a half inch golden fleece brush and simply come across it with some nice quick strokes and the paint's already on there. Oh, it's gonna to be too thick, isn't it? This one may not work, I don't know. And what would happen if we sprayed now with just some water into it? Might work, might not, I don't know. We're gonna see. I'm gonna go right over the painting there in that. Wow, whew, I don't know. Kinda of made a day anyhow, a stormy, kind of a snowy day and we can kind of let it run down into this and spray just a little more in here because I don't want it getting down in there. It won't hurt it to spray in it. You'll never know you've, you've done it. And in a minute, we'll come back and put a mat over it and see how we did. Okay, we'll be right back. Don't go away. We sprayed, you remember, with the atomizer, three colors was coastal fog, ultramarine blue and a little bit of rambling rose and I didn't like what it is so I took the big brush wet damp and just blended it and let it settle down into there and here's what we have now and it's kind of darkened today so I can imagine that maybe it is snowing so I'm going to remove that mat take my toothbrush dampen it just a little and I've put some titanium white paint over here on the palette you don't ever want to put it in a well and leave it because it'll get hard. It's like gouache. So I just activate a little, take a tissue and hold it right here in case it doesn't drop. And I'm just going to put some snow in this painting just a little bit by flicking the toothbrush right here. Pick up just a little more color down in the foreground. I don't want it everywhere, but here and there, enough to where it looks like it's snowing in places and maybe a little more in this area and a little less over there. And there's our snow. Snow on the mountain and snow in the valley. <gasps> wow, isn't that fun? I just love doing snow scenes because we have them here and it's just a fun day sometimes to paint and look out my window and see the ridges and the valleys and the fields covered with snow and come here and do a painting. It's just fun. I hope you've had a good time. I sure have. <laughs>